So the reason I'm starting from out here is because I really want you to get an idea of what kind of street you're going to be living near. Um, East Evans is now a five lane, two lane on both sides with a divided highway. It is only 430 and you're right on a hill. So most likely when you leave this property, you're going to take a right because the left might be difficult. The nice thing is, is that it is set back um, with this rock wall and an electric gate so that you can pull into the driveway here, open your gate electronically and come into your property. So you have some, a little bit of parking here. You got a two car garage. The roof is in excellent shape. Um, got crepe myrtles up in the front, some mountain laurels and a big beautiful oak tree and purple sage. These are lavender here and purple sage right there. So as we move away from the street, uh, the brick looks like it's in great shape and probably been painted. Nice white with black accents. Got a little bit of um, separation right there. Probably an older piece of wood. Not a huge deal. It's got a nice variety of trees. It doesn't have high ceilings. Um, it does have crown molding, a nice cute little entryway. This is tile throughout the house, laid very nicely. It's just light enough to where all the dirt won't show. I caution people about getting dark wood floors because all the dirt shows. This is a nice size room. But notice, it's got newer windows you can't hear any road noise. And this is the closest room to the, the road. So you have a reach-in closet. And this room has got its own bathroom. Very nice. So my big thing about this is the ceiling is painted the same colors as the walls, so a white ceiling would make it look bigger in here, but it's still a good size room. So you have a good size dining because that's a long um, table. Then you have the living with a fireplace. And it is just a wood, wood burning. So you cook it, you clean it. Recess lighting. I have to say they did a fantastic job in their renovations. So this is one of the smaller bedrooms with a reach in. No popcorn ceiling, really pretty granite countertops. Cooking towards the living area. And again, it is quiet in here. It's another one of my favorite things is instead of having the um, cabinets, they have the pull out drawers, soft clothes.
and have cabinets too. But they're all soft clothes. No slam in the drawers. Really pretty island. This is the best granite I've seen on any of the houses that I videoed for you. Deep sink with a pull away sprayer. Not a bad place to wash dishes. Let's go towards the master. Coat closet. And the half bath. Just enough space. This is a fantastic size master bedroom. Big enough closet. No bathtub in here though, but you could probably take this out and put a soaking tub. Cute little mirrors. Nice cabinetry. These are a little high because these come about to my hip bone. There's no mirror here to show you this, but this is my hip bone right here. And you saw me the other day, so. Little pony wall for privacy. And see, they did a really cool thing here because this would be a great little breakfast room with that being the formal dining over there. Having a little table over here. I think it's a fantastic idea because this window I mean, you could just drink your coffee out here, in here. It's beautiful. No step for the laundry room, but here's the pantry. So you have a little bit of a walk in the pantry, but a lot of room in the laundry area. out here so this would be considered a three car, uh, three car tandem because you have one two and it's long enough to put a third car here so this is a good size garage very good size with a water softener I like it and another room out, another door out to the back side. But I want to go out this way because we do have one more room that we didn't see. It's kind of like a sunroom. Let's take a look at the AC here. Very quiet. Very quiet. So here's where your steps are, but they're reasonable steps. It does have its own cooling system. That looks like a fig tree and two of the mountain laurels. Lots of windows. I mean, you can enjoy the outside without even having to go outside. Going outside though, same steps as you would go to towards the sunroom. You have your uh, well right here, a holding tank, pressure tank.
We've got uh, purple martin bird houses there. There's one right there and one down here. They're great for eating mosquitoes. And a diving board. And they don't even put ladders on the poles anymore. So that kind of gives you an idea of how old the pool is. Older. This is a nice entertaining space though. And it's well taken care of as I trip over the wood uh, step. We have those little steps right here. Tripped right over one. And see back here, you really can't even hear the, the road noise. I mean, you can, but it's not as obnoxious as up front. I'm really surprised. It's probably because of the um, trees. Really, really what works wonders for filtration of the noise. It's such a nice lot. And everything is draining that way. So you're going to have the water runoff down there. You have some have some little areas right here at the step that looks like they've been repaired of the pools that we've looked at this is in pretty good shape and when they have a diving board they're, they're usually pretty deep and see once you come to this side of the pool you can start hearing the noise again So your pool equipment is on this side. You've got brick all the way around. Sounds like they got a little bit of air in their system. This is a unique, a unique lot. So I think that it comes from this wall and goes back down into that way. I don't I think I've seen this before. It's like a little robot that cleans the pool, but I've never seen it attached with this. And here, I don't know, I probably would put a rail going up. You have a handrail right here, but I would, I would, I would. Nice little storage room with electricity and junk. And this is something that you would have to learn about. You've got a holding tank. The blue thing is a pressure tank and the well is down below and it has a pump um, which pushes the water in. So you will not have a water bill because you have your own water. And the grass that you would mow, hmm. I mean, you, you have to get really good at, you have to get really good at driving a zero turn lawnmower. Because there's really not a lot of grass. There's a lot of trees and a lot of stuff you would leave natural like down there, you would leave it natural. Because of the shade back here, the grass is not gonna grow that fast. It's more of a weed eating thing. So the only lawn that would need to be cut is the front.
If you can get past the road, this is a beautiful house. Again, when you leave here, there's a 90% chance you're going to want to take a right because the left might be a little tricky because it is almost 5 o'clock. But again, a beautiful house. <laughs> 